Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, something a little bit different today. Um, I went up to, was traveling through Buxton and I drove past Paul's cabin and I thought I've never been in Paul's cabin so I'm going to go in there. So this video hasn't got a lot of talking from me while we're inside the cabin. It's a, a tour guide, it's giving us the history of the uh, the rock, stalagmites and stalactites. Uh, extremely interesting. So I'm not talking a great deal, you might be a uh, grateful for that fact but um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video as i say something totally different never done this sort of thing before i just hope the camera performs reasonably well in the low light some of it's lit up anyway you can see the rocks let's have a look and hope you enjoy take care of we're on our way in it is yeah oh my goodness how tiny is that it's extremely small isn't it it's a dji osmo pocket oh my goodness it records in 4k resolution and uh, I think it's 32 megapixel photographs. Oh my goodness. But I'm a vlogger, I do. I do vlogs for YouTube. Yeah. That's why I wanted to come here today to see this. So if you don't mind at all, then. No, 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 oh, brilliant. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, we'll let you go. Yeah, you're going in front. So my name's Nina. Okay. I'm your tour guide. We do some jokes, do take photos and video, whatever. You know, it's fine. Don't need to ask. And do ask questions, and I will endeavour to answer them. Um, so. <laughs> now, all salad types are pointy as you can see in these bar. Now, the longest one, in fact, that one, that, that one, we refer to them as babies, they about 500 years old. So these crystals grow gorgeous, isn't it? Slow. That's a, you know, yeah. I had to do my doors with a microphone. Um, now, this cake is very seasonal, so it can look and sound different. So, during the summer months, you know, we tend to get drier weather. And that means that we don't have much of a river, sometimes we don't have a river at all. But you also get an example of how shiny and sparkly the crystals could be when they are completely dry. Now this river here is the darkest of the port of the River Wye. And it starts two and a half miles south of Buxton on Axe Edge. This is from several smaller caves before entering our cave. Entrance point of the river is in the last one that I gave you to do. get to it after pointing out. It then comes from our cave system and along this riverbed. If you follow my torch line, I'm going to show you what happens next. We reach this point here, and we call this the river sink, and this acts a bit like a plug hole, and it is at this point of the river where plummets 60 feet underground. 
and it resurfaces up at the town centre. It then goes oh, on a wow. really, really, really long journey covering several rivers, some of them being the Derwent, the Trent, the Humber, and then eventually it flushes itself out to the North Sea. And this is what we're seeing here, what we're witnessing here, it's this humble beginnings before it gets you know, flushed out to the North Sea. Wow. Uh, 
you because they are hollow and it's all really small. So you boil up in that one land on your head. If you can't get it, you can boil the table. So I want everyone to look at your turn white back on and explain a little further what's going on in here. Okay. So we call this the poached egg chamber. Oh, good grief. And we call it that because of our salad mites yeah. here. And they're orange tips, which are the poached eggs. Now, <laughs> it's these poached eggs that have given this cake uh, the triple SS ice certification. Now, just to give you an idea of how unique this is, there's only one other cake in the world with stellar mites like this, the poached eggs. And that's in America. Good grief. And in that cave, only the scientists are committed in there, so we're very lucky to be able to bring you here. And this is how unique this change is. Now, the scientists have no idea that the water in those orange tips to stay there. Now, you'd expect that the salad might grow from the ground up mm. with an orange tip that you have a tower of orange salad mites. So it doesn't explain how the tips to stay orange. Now, they know there's elements of iron dioxide in bacterial growth. In Beautiful, the isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. But it doesn't answer the question of how it just stays orange at the tip. And it is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Now, absolutely another, gorgeous. Another point of scientific interest is, and I don't know whether you guys saw that, there was examples of this in the exhibition that were sliced in half. Did you see those? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You notice they were like rings, <laughs> dark and you know, dead. Yeah. Yeah. So there were rings inside them. And like trees, you can date them from those leaves. Not only that, from those leaves, you get an accurate record of rainfall. Yeah. Oh, good grief. And that's rainfall is built with them today. So, um, so that's the last one of the year. So I've given away the age of the formations in here. So everything in here is no more than 200 years old. So the formations are growing 100 <laughs> times quicker. Uh, so it's a centimetre, centimetre every year. Good God. Now, It's just so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Through, 
walked along the riverbank and it said that she stood here, although she wouldn't have been on the steps, she would have been knee deep in the river, and said that, and declared this, what was a beautiful example of a column and pillar, this huge column and pillar, but the Victorians blew it up. Now I'll get back to the Victorians, so you can imagine how beautiful it was. And um, yes, she was the most beautiful thing she'd ever seen, had she seen it. Now we very much doubt that she had. Um, that, it was called all sorts. Now my favourite description was uh, that of the Victorians, and they called it the roast dinner. They called that like a chicken, <laughs> roast potatoes, and your veg, <laughs> flour, uh, and the gravy down the middle. Yeah. Now, it's like a chicken, yeah. <laughs> the gravy are tiny examples of rimples, like the ones I showed you up at um, yeah. the river. I mean, the bridge. Oh, look at the... Oh, wow! So what you're seeing is a cluster of boulders coated from two to three centimetres thick, if not thicker in other parts, cow size. And you can see how this is happening, right there, directly in front of us. See the riffling effect you there. Look up, you know, if you look up, can you see these curtains? Yeah. yeah. They are funneling through all that rainwater in which and crystals and coating the sculpture in cow size. Huh. Wow. But how did this boulders end up here? I hear you ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. tell you. <laughs> 11,000 years ago, this part of the cave saw its largest rock fall, and it created this cascade of boulders. We call it the boulder choke. And the last lot landed just here in perfect position for those curtains to do their thing and create the sculpture. Now, I did say in the last chamber I was going to show you where the river uh, enters and it enters just behind the black cables there. Can you see those black mm. cable, cables? Yeah. No, it looks really open and wide, doesn't it? Um, don't be fooled by that. It soon narrows. You definitely not want to be in there when the river comes in. No. So up until this point, you've walked a thousand feet and it clearly is the end of the tour. Oh. But <laughs> it's not the end of the cave because believe it or not this is going to amaze you guys there is another mile to a mile and a half of unexplored cave beyond this boulder chain. oh we'll be able to clear that and go further but the victorians didn't know about that i mean like the victorians just the looks way so incredible our way through that, that rippling effect yeah. where the water's continually yeah. that's just just yeah. and if they had oh. known they would have 100 blown their way through beautiful yeah now, we have tried, you know, curiosity, if we do want to, we're very limited because of how, you know, this, everything in this cave. Um, so entering where the river uh, enters is an instant no-no because where the river begins is gritstone. Gritstone acts very different to limestone, mm -hmm. so it retains and pockets away that rainwater, therefore releasing it at unpredictable moments. So that was an instant no-no. They tried controlled explosives. And it took them, that was decades ago, yeah. and, uh, um, and it took them decades to get there. Um, and it was on the 7th of the 10th, which we refer to as the 7th heaven. If you smile for the camera now, you'll see yourselves on the, on the uh, film at the end. Okay, thanks very much. Brilliant, thank you. Take care. Now that was an experience. I've lived uh, near Buxton for a long, long, long time now. I've never been in Paul's Cavern and I'm so glad I did. It's a well worthwhile experience as you can see for the films. I'm hoping that it's not too dark in there and you do get a good idea of what it looks like because it's amazing. So that's Macman signing off for this one and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care.